Hi guys and welcome to another fairy tale video. Today's story is about the king with the lion, which I obviously chose because it sounds like the Lion King and I was really curious what it's about. So let's find out together. A young prince sat with his bride to be and said, I'm going to give you a ring and my picture and want you to carry these things to remember me and to remain true to me. My father is deathly ill and has asked me to come to him. He wants to see me one more time before he dies and I become king, so I want you to go home now. Upon saying this, the prince rode off and found his father on his deathbed. Right before he died, he asked his son to marry a particular princess after his death. The prince was so depressed and loved his father so much that, without thinking about it, he said yes. And right after that, the king closed his eyes and died. After he was acclaimed king and the mourning period ended, he had to keep his word and ask permission to court the other princes who had been promised to him. Meanwhile, the first bride had heard that the prince was courting another princess and she grieved so much that she almost died. Her father asked her why she was so sad and told her all she had to do was to ask him for what she wanted and her wish would be granted. So the princess reflected for a moment and then she asked for eleven young women who would completely resemble her in size as well as in stature. So the king had his men search for the eleven young women throughout the entire kingdom and when they were all together, she dressed herself in hunter's clothes and had the eleven dressed the same way, so all twelve of them were completely alike. Shortly thereafter, she wrote to the king, her former bridegroom, and requested a position for herself and the others as hunters. The king didn't recognize her, but because they were such handsome people, he gladly granted the request and welcomed them to his court. Now the king had a lion and nothing could be kept from him. This lion knew all the secrets of the court. One evening the lion said to the king, You believe you've employed twelve hunters, but they are actually twelve young women. The king refused to believe him, but the lion added, Have peace spread out in your anteroom one time. Men have a heavy step. If they walk over the peace, none of the peace will move. But women, they skip and shuffle and the peace roll beneath their feet. The king liked this plan, but one of the king's servants loved the hunters and had overheard this. So he ran to the young women and said, The lion thinks that you are women and wants to have peace spread out in the anteroom to test you. Consequently, the princess ordered her eleven young ladies to use all their might and step firmly on the peace. When it turned morning and the peas were all spread out, the king summoned the twelve hunters, but they had such firm and strong gain that not a single pea moved. That evening the king reproached the lion and accused him of lying. In response the lion said, They covered up who they really are. Now just have twelve spinning reels set up in the anteroom and they'll show how pleased they are. No man would ever do that. The king followed the lion's advice once more and had the spinning wheels set up in the room. However, the servant revealed the hunters what was happening so that the princess ordered the young ladies once more not to look at the spinning wheels at all. So that's what they did and the king refused to believe the lion anymore. He became more and more fond of the hunters and when he went out hunting they had to go along with him. One time, when they were out in the forest, news arrived that the princess bride was coming and that she soon will be there. When the princess real bride heard this, she fainted. The king thought that something had happened to his dear hunter. He ran over and wanted to help him. As he took off his glove, he noticed that she was wearing the ring that he had given to his first bride and moreover, when he saw the picture that she was carrying in her necklace, he recognized her and immediately notified the other bride to return to her realm because he already had a wife and when one recovers an old K, one doesn't need a new one. Soon after the wedding was celebrated and it was clear that the lion had not lied and he once again found favor in the king's eyes. The end. So that's definitely a different story. And for some reason was the hardest one for me to tell you because it was kind of hard to tell the words. I don't know. You know English is not my main language so it's a bit hard but I really really like doing this. It was just a bit frustrating sometimes this time. But yeah, I hope you like this fairy tale story thing I do. 
I know the story was kind of weird and a little bit sexist, <laughs> at least in my opinion. I mean, I know it were different times, it's just a bit weird to think that women are very, very drawn to look at spinning wheels and stuff like that. And yeah, um, the story was a little bit, let's say, interesting. But yeah, I hope you still like these videos. I like the artwork I made very, very much. So I hope you like the story anyway and laugh with me about its weirdness. Yeah, I wish you a wonderful rest of your day and I hope we see each other in my next video. Bye!